Man, good times down here. It's a really fun class. I think we're going to hand out the gold medal. Oh, he's already got it. This guy is too polished, too good, making me look bad. How about it? He's back at Loretta's 2006, the last time he won a title here, 15 years later. Looks exactly the same, hasn't aged a bit. Let's hear it for Jeff Emick taking your moto win. So first, just tell us what made you decide this is a year to make it happen again. Well, I figure it's uh, the plus 50, and that's as far as it gets, right? Once you're, <laughs> once you're uh, turn 50, you're only going to get older as you go. So, yeah, just uh, I found, kind of rediscovered my love of motocross. And, uh, you know, I got to tell you, though, it's a lot of work, a lot of people involved for me to race this. And so, you know, my hats are off to all the all the people that are here doing the same thing. And then the 150 story, I know it's the bike you ride generally, so you're just sticking with it? Yeah, it's just a bike that I'm comfortable on. Um, you know, with this track, it's so short and choppy and all that. It's like, you know, I don't even really use what I have right now. But I was fortunate, I've got Enzo suspension on this thing and I've got Twisted Development. Jamie and Jimbo and everybody built a rad engine. I was just bummed that I didn't get out of the gate like I wanted to, because I think I can hole shot it on this 150. Okay. Uh, how the rest of the moto go, bro? Oh, uh, I have a lot of nerves. Really? Yeah, I've, I'm. I mean, yeah, this is like uh, it's been 15 years since I've been here and raced at a level like this, and I would say that the whole way through that I, I was just dealing with nerves. I kind of feel it right now. Yeah. Yeah, it'll get better as the week goes on. Who else do you want to thank, Jeff? Well, my mechanic here, BJ Burns, helps me every step of the way, and couldn't do it without him. Um, of course, everybody that's a part of this uh, shift, uh, Fox. Let's see if I remember this. Rhino Power. Irenic, FMF, ODI Grips, uh, and a whole host of others. Hopefully I get to talk about them next time. And, you know, we're doing a three-part documentary on this with Bird Moto called Pro at 50, so kind of documenting the journey. So if you guys get a chance, check that out on Bird Moto. You're making the story good right now. The 47's back, Jeff Emig. All right. He's not the only one.